back out. They camp the night, but we get the kayak, so I'm gonna head out. Looks reasonably calm. And it's roasting the night, absolutely roasting. So I might even have a wee dive in the sea. We'll wait and see, but first things first, I'm gonna get into the hammock, in the hammock, into the kayak, we'll get out of the water. Don't go away. We're in. So let's go. So I was going to go up the river, but I think what I'll do, I'm going to just head out to sea tonight. I'm saying head out to sea, I don't know. It's not quite as calm as what it was last night. But hey ho, we'll go down and have a look. So, let's go. So, off to sea we go. So I've seen a couple of folk already out there. I've just pumped the paddle boards up. I can see somebody else out to see way up ahead. That's the canoe as well. Just look out sunbathing. <coughs> Good old sunny weather. That's us out of the mouth of the river. So that's us out on the sea now. Spinning around, that's a kind of beach front. You can probably see Greening Castle. So, maybe I can't make it out, but it's kind of there. It's a bit rougher than where it was the uh, last time I was out, but you know, it's not windy or anything like that, so it's all good. So, I'm just going to go a wee paddle down the coast, and at some point. I honestly think I'm all right in the water tonight. Comment below, everybody else got a kayak. Whether it's an inflatable, whether it's a half bodied one, or then they got a paddle board. They really are great. You probably see it's, it's definitely the last time I was out this, this way. It was dead calm, but it's definitely a wee bit. Well, I'm saying waves. It's not quite waves, but. Once I've paddled for a bit, I'm, I'm roasting hot and then I'll jump on the side. So that's still to come. But as right now, just paddling along in the ocean waves. <sighs> First day work. So I'm going to drink. Drink a juice. I paddled down the beach, or down the shoreline. I don't know. I don't know how far I'm out. But it's that time. It's that time to get in the water. So, I'm going to stick my water there. Hope this doesn't see what I wait. See if I can get back into it. Hope my camera doesn't fall over. Oh, it's cold. I've got nothing in my pockets. You ready? Here we go. Oh well, it's not that deep. I can actually stand up in it. But, I don't know. It's actually, you're lucky if it's. I've actually heard a lot of folks saying that it doesn't actually get deep to like a, a, good, a good mile out. Well, I'm saying a mile out, I don't know how far. Well, I'm just going to walk at the side of the kayak. 
That's the first time I've been in the sea in years. But it just shows you it's quite deceiving. You think it's you look out for the beach and you just think that looks pretty deep and actually if it's if it's kinda of just up by my thighs just now. Oh it's just good to get out. I'm so tempted to actually take a dunk under the water. I might do that yet. What can I do though? I'm gonna just keep walking out. Just gonna gauge the depth. This is how how far as before. It's basically pretty deep. But at the moment, it's not really deep at all. I don't know, you can see the shoreline in the background. But it doesn't look too bad. Odd kind of wave coming in. And I'll be honest, I don't want to say it's not even that cold, but it's just hitting my, you know what is. But once you're by, that's what they say in it. Once, once you get by the, the initial into the water, it's just a case of acclimatising to it. So, like I say, it's not even that cold. Oh, this is great. Fantastic. So, I'm probably up to my, my waist now. I don't know how much further. Or maybe, I'll probably not go much further than my waist, to be honest. I'm dead to get further and go for a swim, but I don't even bother. And I've just realised I'm not just that with me, but I've got a bloody biscuits, didn't I? Not good. But here you go, we're out and about, that's all that matters. Whereas, probably the next time you see me out in the sea, I'll be out in that actual boat. Uh, that's one of the kind of next camps I'm going on. Uh, Heading away down kind of stone railway, so I'm looking forward to that. And that is an actual boat, so that'll be pretty good. And I think we're going to do a wee bit of sea fishing, so hopefully, as well, in our next camp, we'll have a wee catch and cook, so that should be pretty good as well. Anyway, enough of me babbling on, I'm going to try and climb back into this. Yeah, I'm going to go a paddle further down the shoreline. Brilliant. Basically, maybe you can make that out, but that's how deep it is. Well, hopefully, because it's, it's kind of reasonably shallow, I'll be able to climb back in and that's alright. Without tipping the thing over. But wait and see. Anyway, let's get it in. Let's get it in. Right, but you know something? Stop it. Right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. It's not quite the, the Balearic Islands or Australia or that, but it's actually it's not cold at all. Oh, I can't beat this. Fantastic. So much for getting back in the kayak. Might as well go for a swim, eh? I'm going for a swim, I'm going for a paddle, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start, well, I'm paddling back to where I come in, in that other section. And then I'm going to go a wee, I might actually go a wee paddle up the river. Why not? I'm out, so, I'm out, it's a nice night, so, right as well. I might even jump into the river for a wee bit as well. See if there's any difference in the heat to the river water compared to the sea. But I can't tell why, that wasn't actually that cold. Yeah, who needs to go abroad? Heading up the river now. So you can get so far up here, 
where there's a kind of weir. But what I might do, should have been in the water anyway. I might actually get out and carry my kayak over the weir and maybe go and explore a wee bit further up as well. Maybe not. Yeah. Because that's a section I've not done yet. So it'll be quite interesting to, to go up and have a look, see what it's like. And it's not late yet, so. I think we'll just do that, will we? So stay tuned, folks. Stay tuned. That's the weird section up there, so maybe get out and try and go up that. Right, I've got to get out. Can I carry it across a few rocks? Is it they call that portaging? Something like that. Uh, but it literally is. It's only about 15 feet. But I've managed to find another wee bit. So, get the kayak in the water again. So, I'm going to explore this another section of this river. See how far I can get up it. Uh, I know there is another weir, a quite a big weir, a couple of miles up, but I'll maybe paddle up as far as that. Anyway, we'll see what it takes us. I can't quite make it out, but I definitely don't want to get in that, not in this. Like I said, never been up this section, so it's always good to explore and find new, new spots, isn't it? Stunning big houses down here, and right on the water side. Just seen a fish jump out the water there as well. Oh, that's nice. Right, can you see that? Look at this see that summer house. Look at that. Very nice. Huh? Under with plenty of money. Fantastic. Cannot be that. Right, cause I, I was saying that there's, I thought there was a weir further up, but there's actually one just kind of under, you can probably see that bridge ahead. It says 1861 on it. So I've been there a while. But when I'm looking up ahead, there's a massive set of kind of rapids. I see there's a group of young, group, group of young boys who are on the water. <laughs> But looking at the one up ahead, I might even take the risk of weight tight and doing that in the, the, the kayak. I know it's just an inflatable, but you can't eat pizza. Oh, superb. So, if one of the bridge we go, and then what I'll do, I'll go up to that kind of set of rapids. I'm going to check it out. If it's looking a bit dodgy for the kayak, I'll just get out again and I'll carry it around that bit. More I look at that, the more I'm thinking. Nah, I don't think I'll bother going doing that. Not in this anyway. Maybe in a hard body canoe, but that's looking a bit dodgy to, to get in an inflatable. Right, coming up the river, there's a, a bunch of young boys who wanted to show the kayak. So. It's a two man, but I think there's about four of them in it. They've got the right idea. So I think I'm for some of that. So, I'm going to jump in it all. Right. These boys are getting the right idea, so it's time to jump in. Time for a somersault? I think so. Oh, yeah, see, jump 
It's like been 16 again. Well, that was a good laugh. Hmm? I've just got, let me just get another six subscribers. What, this section of the river, hmm? I've never been up here, so a wee bit exploding. It'll spin you around. So that's hmm? another section of the river down. Let's say, never been to this bit. I do like finding new, new bit, bits to go. It really is an absolute stunning night tonight. Absolutely roasting. Even the water. I can't, I can't tell a lie, it's no, it wasn't even that cold. So I'm going to see how far I can get up here. The boys were saying the, uh, there's a few kind of shallow bits. I'll be honest, this bit, I'm just coming up to it. Looks quite shallow, but if that's the case, it's easy enough just to get out. I can, I can walk sections of it. Oh, I just can't help beat that. Cannot beat it. I've never seen some of the pals are heading down the paddle boards. So we'll be coming across there in the the way up here. Ah, oh, so fair. Absolutely cracking. Oh, well, there's a, a nice river this. So I'm going to paddle up to this kind of next section and then I'm going to turn and head back down. But I really was just stunning. Stunning place. Absolutely immense. But there's whole sections of it I keep I've seen fish jumping just about the whole way up it. A few nice houses and that the water's edge and down here. Be nice having a house. Great fact. Oh, I dare say a lot of houses down here probably get the fishing rights to the river as well. Anyway, I'm going to about turn, head back down. Right turn, Clive. And we're off. And obviously, you down the way, it's a lot less paddling because you're basically going with the current. Paradise, paradise. I'm just going to come over here on the sunny side. Sunny side up. Oh, I can get used to that. It's just so relaxing. You can make out the ducks. Anyway. I could just float about here all night. Beats sitting in the house. It certainly does. <coughs> well, I think I'll have to get out of this kayak more often, won't I? <coughs> and it's good to see the summer ones. It's the first time I've, I've jumped in the sea, that's the first time I've jumped in the river in years. It's actually quite refreshing. It's something different to do as well, isn't it? 
Olha a conta da prancha. So I'm going to head back down. My car's parked way down. The very kind of mouth of the river. So I've got one more kind of wee ear. Need to get the need to get it basically out of the water again carry it over that section and then it's the very last section down to the kind of mouth of the river and then basically I'll get back out and head up the road but oh, it's just what a crack night great, you see the sun's shining in it there's something about it And it beats sunshine. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's just totally calm here. Okay. Well, totally calm until you get around to this next bit. But everywhere I look, I keep seeing fish <laughs> rising. I'd love to fish this river, I must admit. But it's private fishing, so unless you pay for it, it's not happening. But it was supposed to be a really, really good uh, salmon rubber. I dare say there'll be trout and things in it as well, but it's supposed to be a really good salmon rubber. So, oh, I see another fish jump there. But there's no way that's that rapid section. Just there. That's what I'm doing. So I need to dodge that. I've basically got under these trees. Let's see if I can make it through that. Oh, there we go. And I'll use my sunglasses this time. And I'll just pull into this bit. Last wee bit that I need to get out. And then I'll in the last section. Mm. Last section. Mm. So this is us coming right down to the, the kind of mouth of the river again. Probably make the bridge out right down down there so mm. my car's no far from there. But when I'm looking down there maybe can't make it out in the camera but I'm no joke when I say there must be at least eight folk out the paddle boards just down at the bottom there. Well, it's been a good wee night. First of all, I've enjoyed this. Actually, I quite enjoyed jumping in that, that river earlier. Even on the sea, it's quite good. But it's just, it's just good to be out. Good for this soul. I'll be starting to see the foam and paddle boards soon. That's the, the big thing now, isn't it? These paddle boards. Hey there. That's us nearly there. So I'm just gonna go into the side and then I'll get the kayak down and then head home. That's a good thing about this stuff. Get your, get your car right down to the it's like 10 feet to the edge of the river when you can a car park down here so land ahoy <laughs> <laughs> 